Hello again, friends. This is Cheryl Ann in today's Tuesday, September 18th. And this will be part three of how I put um, a journal together and gather papers and assemble the papers and organize them. I, I did a video, but I had it on my little arm that, you know, hangs over and takes the photos, the video. And it just, you know, it's not... <sighs> It came out the wrong direction, so I'm just going to redo this. So we're at the point now where um, I decided on on three signatures for this journal. The spine on this one is an inch and a half thick, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, I was just going to show you something that I like to do. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I like to get my papers in there and then just see how how chunky it is this one is this one's not bad and it does have the ties so it will tie it will tie shut any any more than this and it might get a bit unwieldy so um i decided this one would be the first one and this is kind of a travel airplane this one has all the airplane photos. There's a little calendar. Oh, and we have a locomotive. I have to put that in there somewhere. So you get the idea there. This one has 12 pages. This one would be the ship, the boat one. Eventually. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a tag, and then we have... There's the shipping lines, the map of the Arabian Sea and the Red Sea, the calendar, it's in the middle. So this one has 11 pages. Oh, there's a train. Okay. Boats and, and trains. Why not, right? Okay, so that one has 11, and then the last one has 12, and this is just kind of everything else that I could stick together. I don't, you know, I'm not one that's real, a real stickler for, I have to have a pattern and everything has to go in the pattern. No, I just kind of go with the flow. It's whatever I feel is right. And, you know, sometimes a journal will kind of take a life of its own. <laughs> You'll have a concept in mind and then what you end up with is something completely different so this one has 12 pages so it's 12 11 and 12 which i think is 35 times four i count times four and i don't see it i wouldn't count that as a writing page but this page would be one two here's the three, four. So when I go through and count the pages, um, I always say writing pages, and that, that means I exclude um, the ones. Like I wouldn't count sheet music. I wouldn't count that as a writing page. I don't have any in here. and I, I have some. Now these I took out of the middle signature. So... You can see how nicely those are, but I would have to really, I would have to really trim this down and I, I would probably lose that last, I would probably lose those last two lines, which that that's okay, it doesn't bother me. But, um, so I don't know if I'm gonna include those or not yet. So um, that's, that's where she is. What I, what I had on the other video you didn't get to see was me arranging them. I had um, the composition paper in one stack, the um, ephemera, which would be the maps, the book pages, um, the calendar pages. That was in another. And then the plain, this is 11 by 17 inch white paper. Um, that was in a third stack. So I had three stacks to pull papers from. And then, like I said, I think this one is going to be three signatures because she has a really, she has a really big spine, and those will fit in there. So that's where I am for now. 
So if you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you. You know, I love questions. So until next time, happy journaling. Bye for now.